Hello everyone, this is Mike. This is video number two in the SDR Uno series of videos uh, covering version 1.2, the latest release of SDR Uno from SDR Play. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate and show you the new ham band framing option and the power and SNR to CSV file uh, option. So let me launch SDR Uno and we'll get started. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure I have some separation between the tune and the yellow. That's, uh, that's already done. And I'm gonna show you the power and SNR to CSV. What this does is this is gonna take a power measurement and a signal to noise ratio measurement and write it to a CSV file uh, in any folder that you tell it to. And before you actually enable it, just click on the main SP settings and click on the folder here where it says CSV file name and you can tell it where you want it to go. I'll stick mine on the desktop, save, and you can rename it. Uh, let's call it, uh, actually we can leave it at default, that's fine. All right, let's click play and we'll find the signal and we'll take a measurement. Let's change the mode to AM. All right, we'll do it with this signal here. Let me just lower this. Now, we defined where the file is going to go. Now we have to tell it how often to take a power measurement. And that is under the time mark interval. And it could be one second, every two seconds, five seconds, ten, etc., etc. So I'll set it for every one second and just click the power and SNR to CSV. That will enable it. And you're gonna see a marker coming across the bottom. And it's telling you every second it's taking a measurement reading. So let's leave that running for a little bit and we'll go back to that file that we're creating now. The ham band framing option is in the RX control. And it's in these buttons right over here. The 160 meter band, 80 meter band, 40, 30, 20, 17, etc., etc. So if I was to click on 20 meters, it's going to automatically change the sample rate and it's going to decimate to just show the 20 meter band and only the 20 meter band. If I was to click on 40, it's going to adjust the sample rate and the decimation just to show that portion of the band, which I believe is 7, uh, 7 to 7.30. And for 20 meters, I believe it's 14 to 14.350. Not only that, it's going to also change the mode uh, per the band. So if you go to 20 meters, it's going to automatically select upper side band. If you go to 40, it's going to automatically select lower. So anything from 10 megahertz and below is usually lower side band. Anything from 10 megahertz and above is almost always upper side band. All right, let's take a look at our CSV file. To stop it, you just click the button and it's going to turn white. Uh, enabled, it turns uh, an orange color. So now we'll go to the desktop here and we'll take a look at the file. I'm going to double click it and here's that file. It's showing me the date, uh, the VFO, the power in DB, uh, in DB, I'm sorry, and the signal and noise in DB. And I can take this file and do further analysis. I can plot charts with this. I know you can do it in Excel. I don't know how to do it personally. I usually upload it to a site and I'll leave that site in the description and you can plot a chart uh, over time to show the different uh, fluctuations in the signal. Okay, now that that part has been covered, let's go back to ham band framing. Let's raise the volume a little bit and let's go to 20 meters. And remember what I said, it's going to change the sample rate and it's also going to decimate and it's going to show that complete band in the main SP from 14 to 14.350 and it changed the mode. Previously I was on AM, it automatically went to upper side band. And another thing it does, it locks the LO, so this way you can tune within. So it's not going to shift everything as you're going up and down that band. You can disable that uh, just by clicking it, but I like it enabled. Let's go to 40 meters. And here's a signal right here. Now let's check 17. 
nothing really happening there. We'll go back to 20. And that's basically it. This is uh, video number two. There's going to be additional videos covering the new features of uh, version 1.2 of SCR Uno. I thank everybody for watching. I appreciate all the comments, good or bad. I'm going to make a few changes in the upcoming videos. I have new video editing software that I just purchased. So hopefully these additional videos in the future are going to be a little bit better. If you guys have any suggestions, uh, please leave them in the comments. I read all of them. Uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, warmest of 73. I'll see you guys in the next video.